OP's husband's best friend kissed her without consent, and he threatened her with deportation if she tells her husband. I 26 F am an immigrant who recently relocated to another country to be with my husband 30 M after being long distance with him for several years. Needless to say, my husband is my best friend, and I love him deeply. Because I've struggled to make my own friends here, I am on friendly terms with my husband's friends. They are all, for the most part, decent people and welcomed me with open arms, which I am grateful for. We all occasionally hang out, and it's never really been an issue. Recently, I began planning a surprise party for my husband's birthday, and I figured I would reach out to his friends about planning to see if they wanted to help. Enter my husband's best friend, Adam29. Adam has been my husband's friend for about 10 years now. Adam is married to a wife of his own, whom I am friends with. Adam was immediately very supportive of my ideas and was insistent on helping. Many times he offered to drive me around the city to go to different stores since my husband, and I don't have a car, which I would decline since I didn't want to cause him any hassle. He would offer to use his place of work as the location for the party. He works at a fancy restaurant. Again, I would decline because my husband isn't the type of person to enjoy birthday celebrations like that. But I would let him know I appreciated his kind offer, and that I felt he was being a very kind and generous friend. He was fairly persistent, but I figured it was just because he wanted to make his friend's birthday memorable. Fast forward to this week. Adam texted me and told me he had his birthday gift for my husband, but he would need help loading it up in his car. I asked about what it was, but he just said a joke about how I would tell my husband, so I couldn't know. I didn't think anything of it and agreed to help him today. We drove to the store, got the gift wrapped, but it was big and heavy, and drove back. He put the car in park, and as I started getting out, he reached out to me and kissed me. I was taken aback and immediately pulled away. I asked him what he was doing, and he said that he thought I was cute and that he wanted to shoot his shot. I asked him about my husband, and he said that he didn't need to know. I was just overwhelmed and couldn't begin to wrap my mind around what was happening. He apologized and said he thought I was sending signals because of me saying he was a kind and generous person. He then said that my husband couldn't know about it because he would blame me and divorce me. I'd have to go back to my home country, etc. I got out of the car and just went inside. My husband was at work, so he doesn't know. I have a lot of conflicting feelings. I know I want to tell my husband because of how Adam went about it. This proves that he doesn't have my husband's best intentions in mind and is incredibly selfish. My issue arises with how to go about telling him. I am super upset about this whole thing because it's a weird place to be. I doubt my husband will believe me because we have good trust in each other, but I am nervous as to how this will affect the relationship. I'm nervous he will redirect those feelings of betrayal towards me. If that's the case, would it be justified? I just need some guidance on how to approach this with minimal damage to my husband. I know it's bound to happen, but I obviously don't want to hurt him if I can. I appreciate any advice. Edit. I have seen everyone's comments saying to tell my husband the truth. I am planning on telling him when he gets home. However, there seems to be some confusion as to what I'm asking for here. I know I want to tell him, but I am unsure how to tell him without it having an effect on our relationship. My husband is a good man, but no one wants to be the bearer of bad news that their friend that they have known for years is an awful and manipulative person. I don't know how to breach the subject in a gentle way. I tend to let my emotions get the better of me, and this event has me thinking rather compulsively. I don't want to hurt my husband more than necessary. Any advice on how to tell him would be appreciated. Depending on what happens, I'll update when I can. Update. Hi, everyone. It's been a doozy over the last few days, and my post wasn't really all that popular, but I figured I'd update for those that may be curious. Before I go into big details, I just wanted to say thank you for your advice. My husband came home a few days ago, and I surprised him with his favorite meal. I had a day off, and was a ball of nervous energy, 
So I cleaned the house, did laundry and cooked. Basically, I wanted the environment to be as stress-free as possible for my husband because I knew it was going to be hard on him. So we sat down to eat and he had been able to tell me lately that something's been bothering me and he asked me what was going on. So I told my husband as gently as I could and he was understandably upset. Thankfully, Adam didn't get to him before I did and he believed me. I know a lot of people were worried about Adam telling my husband lies about what had actually happened before I was able to. But this didn't happen, thankfully. He was really mad at Adam for kissing me, but especially mad at him for threatening me with deportation. We talked it through, and after a few hours, came to the conclusion that, in order to protect my residency, we would file a police report for assault against Adam. Thank you to those who suggested this. As we talked, Adam sent me a text message that said this. Hey, I just wanted to check in on you to make sure you remembered what I said to you in my car yesterday. I really don't want you to go back to your home country. I've also been thinking of you. Call me when you get this. We have things we need to talk about. Yeah, creepy stuff, plus low-key threats. It had my husband seeing red and me feeling scared. So we went to the police station the same night I told him. They seemed freaked out by Adam's most recent text and agreed it seemed like a veiled threat. So I filed a police report, and they are investigating. As other Redditors pointed out, I wasn't the only victim in this situation. The next day, I texted Adam's wife when I knew Adam was working to see if she wanted to meet up, and she said sure. So we met up, and I told her what happened. I showed her the text and sadly, she didn't take it too well. It's understandable, but this is what I was worried about. She seemed to think that I flirted with him and called me a home wrecker. I know this was probably out of lashing out, but it still made me feel bad, both for her and for Adam putting us in this situation. It's sad that I lost a friend. Shortly after I met with his wife, Adam started blowing up my phone, but I didn't answer. I assume his wife confronted him, or the police called him. I'm not sure what set him off. He then sent me a bunch of texts that just got crazier and crazier, to the point where I didn't feel safe. So I called my husband, who was at work, and he told me that Adam was also blowing his phone up too. We ended up calling the police because Adam was threatening to come to our apartment and do what he should have done when I was in his car. Satisfying ending sort of. He was detained by police for making what they deemed a credible threat against me. It's still an ongoing situation, and I'm a bit upset by how this whole thing essentially blew up, but at least my family and I are okay. The most important thing I'm focusing on is recognizing that what happened isn't my fault, and that I am a victim here. Also, therapy is going forward. Overall, this experience has shown me how quickly people can change once they don't get their way. If you had told me a week ago that Adam was a nice guy TM, I would have laughed at you. As we went through Adam and I's very few interactions, my husband agreed that there weren't any mixed signals. Adam had completely made it up in his head, or as some of you pointed out, was trying to take advantage of a woman in a vulnerable position. I am fortunate that I got the support and protection I needed. It's certainly a great way to start off a new life in a new country, that's for sure. Anyway, I wanted to say thanks for all the comments and support my last post got. My husband read the post and was thankful that I wasn't dealing with this situation by myself. Thanks, internet. Also, shout out to my husband for literally handling this in the most amazing way. We are lucky to have him, so give him some internet love. TLDR. My husband's best friend turned out to be a crazed nice guy who was arrested for threatening me. Edit. I'm seeing some people saying negative things about Adam's wife. I feel it's important to remind Redditors that she is just as much of a victim here as I am. Adam and she have been together for a lengthy period of time, and it makes sense that in her hurt, she would lash out at the person closest. Adam's wife was very kind to me and was the first friend I made in the country. She would check in on me daily and invite me to meet her friends, cook food for me, help me find work, etc. She has never once been malicious towards me, 
and I see no reason to believe she will start now, and I hold no ill will toward her either. In fact, I hope she is able to find peace because she did not deserve what Adam did to her and their family. The only person in this situation who deserves your negativity is currently behind bars. Please be respectful to her, as she holds a place close to my heart. Relevant comments. Atiri. I remember your original post and have kept it open in a tab because I was worried about you. I'm so glad you're safe now. Adam never believed you were sending him signals. He is just a predator who used that lie to make you feel like you did something wrong. He used your vulnerability as an immigrant to threaten you and make you feel like you couldn't say no to his assault or report it to anyone. He was wrong. He didn't know you well enough to know you were too strong for that. He was too confident in his ability to intimidate you. He just saw you as an immigrant bride and likely thought your husband wasn't really in love with you because he thought your husband was like him. You probably aren't the first woman he has taken advantage of. He just got too cocky and made a really bad choice about his latest target. Hopefully, your action has lessened the chances of finding another victim. OP replied. That's so sweet. I knew people wanted updates, and I didn't want to keep people worrying. It was a trying week, but we made it through stronger in the end. I'm very thankful I got the advice I did. Many commenters repeated what you said about Adam being a predator, and that thought never even occurred to me. It turns out you guys might be right. I'll never believe anyone who says that outside perspective isn't necessary. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.